Given the ongoing conflicts between Russia and Ukraine and in the Middle East, as well as OPEC's various production cuts, one might imagine that commodity prices should be trading near a record high. Yet, despite all of these disruptions and potential disruptions, almost across the board, commodity prices are far lower today than they were at their peak levels in 2022. Why have commodity prices generally been selling off? Part of the explanation comes from strong harvests of corn and wheat in many critical growing regions. And when it comes to oil, U.S. crude production surged to a record high in mid-January, partially offsetting OPEC's cuts. But the biggest reason why commodity prices haven't rallied can be summed up in one word, China. China is the world's biggest consumer of raw materials, mm -hmm. importing up to 10% of the world's crude oil, up to 40% of industrial metals, and around 10% of the food eaten in China. Mm -hmm. Also, China's economy hasn't been growing as strongly as many commodity producers had been expecting. Last year, China expanded at a rate of 5.2%, which sounds good until one remembers that that 5.2% growth was comparing to 2022, when China spent much of the year in lockdowns. China's economy has been plagued by high levels of debt, collapsing real estate prices, slow growth in industrial production and consumer spending, and sharply falling imports and exports. All of this has consequences for commodity prices, which tend to follow the pace of growth in China, but with a lag of roughly one year. Given the long lag times between the pace of growth in China and subsequent movements in commodity prices, even if China succeeds in boosting growth in 2024, which is far from a given, commodity prices might not sustain a rally unless global conflicts intensify supply chain disruptions. Thank you.